Hi, everyone. Welcome back. It's so good to have you. My name is Kim Fisher. In this episode, I am going to be talking about a very interesting area of the brain known as the reticular activating system, or the RAS for short, and how it relates to goal setting and goal crushing, which I'm all about. You guys know I'm big, I'm manifesting. I just offered my masterclass on that. And in fact, um, I want you guys to know that I do have a digital course, Manifesting 101, that is available for you to purchase now. I also have Manifesting Audio Affirmations as well that you can purchase. And these are great resources for you to learn about what manifesting actually is, how to do it correctly, because yes, you can do it incorrectly and it really sucks when you do that. I've done it myself. I give you the inside scoop inside of the digital course as well. So if you're interested after hearing this podcast and going deeper into manifesting, which I hope you will, it's incredible. I've got a course for you. Check it out. I'll put it in the links below the YouTube video, as well as inside the podcast show notes. Okay. So as you guys also know, or probably know, I have studied the brain in terms of an undergraduate degree for a couple of years. I worked inside a cognitive neuroscience lab where I was a research assistant looking at and publishing results on fMRI or specifically resting state functional um, MRI data and different areas of the brain. And I love, love, love the brain. At one point, I wanted to go on and get my PhD in cognitive neuroscience and do fMRI research nonstop because I find the brain super, super fascinating. And I love being able to take something like the RAS, the reticular activating system, and apply it to something that I love in the energetic and yoga world, manifesting and radical rituals and using it as a tool for what I call spiritual management. Because let's face it, spirituality is nothing that really feels like it's manageable. But yet we all claim we want to be in this better place one year from now or sooner, yet most of us don't get there. So what's going on with our spirituality? Is it broken? I don't know. Maybe that's a podcast or another time. I'll make a note to write that down and talk about that. But the RAS is an area, let's get into it, okay? The RAS is an area of your brain that acts like a gatekeeper. So right now, your unconscious mind is actually taking in all information around you. So 100% of touch, taste, smell, so all your senses are coming in and being brought in to the unconscious mind. Now your conscious mind, thank goodness, only focuses on about 1% to 2% of that. So 99, 98% of everything that's taking place around you right now, your brain is filtering out because it's simply not relevant. The gatekeeper who decides what's relevant and what's not for you is the RAS, the reticular activating system. It acts like a, like a, um, a filter so that Really, the only things that pass through and get moved up into your conscious mind where you can think about it, focus on it, do something about it, are the things that it has been told are important. I pause there for emphasis. Because you can actually train your RAS. Yes, and this is where it gets really, really cool. And this is where manifesting comes in as not this woo-woo energetic thing. Our journaling that we do, our activated journaling that I have you do with me, this is all real stuff backed by science. And here's what it does to your brain. So one way that the RES works is that unconscious material gets filtered and the things that are relevant gets passed up through its gates into our conscious mind that says, hey, pay attention to this, pay attention to that. Now, most of those things on a neurological level are like safety things, like 
here is a moving bus. Why don't we get out of the way? That's relevant, right? Step aside from the moving bus. Or here is a big grizzly bear. That might kill you. That's relevant to your survival. Let's go ahead and play dead or I don't know, throw a candy bar in the other direction and get it to run away. And so there's some survival mechanisms that are there. But also, as we repeat things, your brain, your RAS, learns what hits of dopamine um, take place. And so we can actually develop habits this way. This is where our negative habits form, but also where our positive habits form, where the RAS goes, oh, they liked that. That was beneficial. I'm going to make sure that they think about that often. I'm going to make sure that they pay attention to that detail often. So remember earlier, just a moment ago, I said that your RAS is, thank, thankfully, trainable. It's trainable if we go the other way with information, top, down, or conscious to unconscious. So let me guide you through that. This is where it gets super fun. Your conscious mind is a lot more intelligent than your unconscious mind because it's where we have our executive control. We've got our prefrontal cortex that has working memory. We've got attention. We've got um, decision making. We have inhibitory control. You know, all these things that keep us alive, keep us safe, and keep us moving forward in the world occur in our conscious thinking mind. So it's much more intelligent than the unconscious mind in that regard. Now, when we decide that we have a goal that we want to achieve, that we want to crush, what we do is we start to think about it, right? With your conscious mind. You start to focus on it. You write it down. You journal it. And by the way, there's a lot of research that shows that you handwriting your goals down is much more effective than typing it into a computer, by the way. So it's always really great to have a physical journal where you actually write down what's important to you, your visions, your goals, your dreams with pen or marker. To amp that up a couple more degrees, to get some extra bonus points, use colored markers because colors, your, ima your imagination and the part of your brain, your unconscious mind, but this is why this is important, loves imagery and color, okay? So if it's really important to you, write it down and to put it in some fun colors that attract you. So your goals, you're writing it down in colored markers. You're being really creative. You are maybe doing some vision boards. You're seeing the images of what you want. You're visualizing your future self, having already achieved those goals. And then you're feeling the emotions. Right? All of this is in the Radical Rituals and the Manifesting Course that I teach you. This is all important for getting your entire body to understand the assignment of the goal. How this happens in your brain is you are telling your RAS, hey, listen up. This new goal is now the most important thing. And you're telling it that not with words, but your frequency of thinking about it, the intensity in which you're thinking about it, and the way you're thinking about it. So are you using color? Are you using imagery? Are you telling people about it? Are you listening to podcasts about it? All of these things are signals to your RAS, your reticular activating system. That, hey, this is the new coolest thing. We're going towards it. Now your RAS is loaded with that information and it feeds it down into your unconscious mind. So then here's what's really fascinating. You go about your day, right? You're, you're living your life. You're doing work. You're, you're feeding the kids. You're doing your yoga. You're, you're recording a podcast, whatever you're doing in your day. And you're not necessarily consciously thinking about your goals in that moment, but your unconscious mind is. And what it's doing is listening to all of the noise around you. And it's taking in 
all of the input, the sensory information. Now remember, only one or two percent gets fed forward through that gate of the RAS into your conscious mind. So what it does, so now that the RAS knows, hey, I'm going to use an example of my, one of my personal goals is I want four to five more pounds of muscle on me. Okay, so hey, she wants four to five more pounds of muscle on her. So whenever you're out and about at line at the grocery store, what you're or out in the street or you're you're going through your Instagram feed, what your RAS is doing is noticing with your unconscious mind anything that's in your environment that could be beneficial for you to move the needle on your goal toward that goal or my four to five pounds of muscle. I want to give you an example to make this a little bit more concrete. So let's say I'm in line at the grocery store and I just happen to look over and I see on the cover of the magazine, oh, gain four to five pounds of muscle. Secrets, exercises, recipes inside. And I'm like, it's a sign from the universe. <laughs> and I buy that magazine because that's, that's going to help me move the needle, right? Or I'm at a party um, and, you know, I'm talking to someone and all of a sudden I hear, yeah, protein and, and yeah, she gained like five pounds of muscle. And my, my RAS heard that, right? And, and recognized it. My unconscious mind heard it, but my RAS recognized it and went, okay, is that one of our important goals? It is. That's important. Kim told me that's important. Boom. Pass through the gate. Pay attention. Because someone over there knows something. You guys getting this? Someone over there knows something that's going to help you with your goal. Go say hi. And so you do. You network. You learn something about muscle building or whatever your goal is. Or maybe you're you're looking to make some more money in your life. And you know, you're, how can I how can I do this next thing? How can I start this business? And so you tell the RAS these are now the important goals. Please notify me. When I'm out in thy world <laughs> and something important comes up because you now know the assignment, you know the goals. And as a result, your RAS is pulling to you the people, the places, the things that will help you achieve your goal. This is why they say that's the law of attraction. What really is going on? There's another layer of the universe and, and there really, really is in, in, in quantum physics and understanding the time doesn't even exist and all of this. But really, you controlling what you control is telling your brain frequently and in very exciting ways with imagery and color and telling other people about it and listening about it. That sort of intensity is going to really solidify for your brain, particularly the RAS, that these goals are important. And while you're out and about living your normal life, your unconscious mind is paying attention to everything. And the RAS is sifting through it all going, Whoop, you know, that's important. Oh my gosh, that matches perfectly here. Pay attention. And what we end up doing is we see that Life, this is why I love this. This is why I fucking love neuroscience because it, it's it's the intersection between the energetic world and real science. When we walk around and we say, it's just serendipity or the universe gave me a sign or there's a God wink over here, you know, or whatever it is that you say that, you know, it was just meant to be or I manifested it. Wait, there's science behind that. You're not just walking around with a with a wizard wand casting spells and shit's just popping out of like puff and you know rabbit hats no you are actually using your brain in a very strategic way to create powerful neural pathways in your brain you're changing your brain to pay attention to the things that will help you achieve your goal and what you will notice is the things you've never noticed before. I'll give you another example. If you are like, oh my gosh, I want a white Porsche SUV. Guess what you start seeing a lot of on the road? White Porsches, SUVs in particular. Or if you're pregnant, 
suddenly you start notice every other woman that's pregnant, right? Or if you're hungry, suddenly you start smelling every freaking thing that's really good, right? Why? It's because in that moment, your unconscious mind is telling you through the RAS what's now relevant and what's now important to you. When you start noticing it in your world, those things were there all along. But you never paid attention to them until they became relevant for you. Is that sinking in? You guys getting this? If you are, like, that should be fucking incredible. What that tells me, because you might be like, well, then does that take like the magic out of the universe? No, I think the opposite. Now stay with me on this because what this tells me, now this is my personal belief, you might have a different take, but what I get from this is that the world is always abundant. Everything I need and must have to support me, sustain me, to go forward and achieve is constantly around me. I just need to pay attention. I need to let my brain and trust my brain because of all of the manifesting and the journaling and the radical rituals I've been doing, all of that that I've been teaching you guys. If you do that consistently, just wait. Just kick back and wait because all of the doors are going to open. All of the people you need to meet are going to come. Everything is going to start to pour in because it's there. It's always been there. The world is infinitely abundant and here to provide you with that feeling of security. You will always be provided for because of the RAS, because of you consciously taking aligned and very focused action on what's important to you every single day or at least every other, you know, where you're at least, if you're not journaling every day, you're visualizing or you told someone about your goals or you listen to a podcast or you're, you know, you're watching a YouTube video. There's something in every day in some different way, shape or form. You are hitting that goal again into your brain. You are reforming your neural networks to move you in the direction of and toward your goals and what's going to get you there. If you don't, if you don't focus on your goals and your dreams, you're going to focus on not your goals and your dreams, which means that you're going to see the world as scarce. You're going to see that everyone else around you is getting it. It rains over me and always me. I never get my way. I The opportunities never come my way. Well, that's mainly because you just don't see them. They're there, but you don't see it because your unconscious mind is not, and your RAS is not passing information through because you haven't told it what's truly important. In fact, you're doing the opposite. You're telling them what's important is negativity, scarcity, um, feeling left out, feeling isolated, feeling like you're no good, feeling like you don't have self-worth, right? All of these things. And that's why like therapy and, 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 and training and, and behavioral sciences and doing radical rituals and the stuff that I teach you is so important to just start now and do it often is because you actually have to rewrite your brain. You have to like stop the gears and go backwards or, you know, make new gears and because your brain is so wired and so conditioned to think one thing is important when we're trying to get over here, right? We're pointing one way and we're trying to move the bow of the boat. It's going to take time. But just as long as you show up every day telling your RAS, telling your unconscious mind what's important with vigor and passion and be on fire or what's important to you, I guarantee you, it's you know, it's impossible not to start seeing the world as an abundant source of what you need to keep going forward towards your goals. And guess what? The more that you start seeing it and the more that you take action on those things, the better off you're going to feel. And guess what? That's a positive feedback loop right there for your brain, folks. Are you getting this? Does that make sense? Isn't this incredible? It's like takes the lid off of the energetics and grounds it right into the 
fucking neurons of your brain. This shit is real. I have a say. Like, I just want to declare it with you. Like, it begins now. I, I got it. I just gave you the keys to the kingdom. Go change your brain. Start focusing. To get my course. Get, start doing your radical rituals. Start learning manifesting. Start learning how to journal. And understand now what you're doing for your brain is super powerful. And there's no going back. All right, you guys. I'm super pumped. I hope you are too. Talking about that is just so exciting for me. It's, it helps me remember my why. It helps me remember why we do this and the mechanisms behind it, okay? So you don't get lost in the jargon. Um, just, you know, the science now behind it. And it absolutely will get you to where you want to go in your life. So go and do it, okay? Go tell that subconscious mind what's up. I love you guys. Thank you so much again for being here. And I will be with you next time.